Hey everyone, Michael, Chorby Lawn Care. I shared a video recently with how to help identify rabbit damage. And today now I wanna to talk about some of the techniques I use to help repair rabbit damage once you do identify it in your lawn. So what I have here with me is just some good organic all-purpose potting soil. Um, Jeremy, our director of agronomy, made it with, partnered up with Drew and made a great video earlier talking about the different types of soils that are generally offered at the big box stores. I highly recommend you check that out to answer any type of questions that you may have about what type of soil to use. But for this purpose, we're using an organic all-purpose potting soil. Um, it's been very well screened. It's alive, good microbial activity. And what I'm doing here um, is over the damaged areas, I am just lightly spreading some soil. Um, it's that simple. Don't be shy with it. Spread it out. Then on a small area like this, um, you can just use your hands, put some gloves on, and just lightly spread it. Um, I'm working this to about a quarter to a half inch thick. You really don't need any more than that. What you're trying to avoid is burying the grass blade itself. We're just lightly spreading some good soil through the bare spots. Um, this works for various damage to your lawn, dog digging up, or you have a path where your dog may be pacing through your yard, or a spot your kids repeatedly play on. Now, obviously, if you have a large area, I would recommend getting soil in bulk, having it delivered, wheelbarrow, spread it with a rake. And the, the purpose of this, or what we're trying to achieve here is, Bermuda spreads by runners. One of the ways it spreads is by runners. And I'll show you here on this runner here, at each one of these nodes, it has the potential of rooting. So if this Bermuda spreads out, and if it hits a dry piece of clay, or if it hits a real thatched area, that node will just air prune and this will keep searching. The theory behind this is you put a good, healthy soil down. When that runner comes out, it comes in contact and it has an easier medium to take hold and root. And over time, watch this fill in. Now this isn't a one and done. It may be something you need to do a couple times throughout the growing season. Um, right now is a great time to get started. Everything's coming alive. A lot of growth is being pushed right now in your lawn. And another technique, that some people try to keep rabbits out of your yard is trapping and relocating. Um, this is a daunting task and I personally wouldn't, wouldn't try to tackle that feat by it's just too many rabbits in these neighborhoods. Um, the best, another way to help have your lawn recover is to sure up your backyard. Take away any of those entry points and bear with me here and grab the camera and I bet if we walk this fence line, I'm sure we'll see one, if not multiple entry points. And lo and behold, there we go. Um, and I know for a fact that there's one at the other gate as well where the rabbits have dug and burrowed under. Um, I've used this technique of top dressing in my front yard this last season, had really good results. Um, I didn't have any damage this year in my front, but my backyard this year got hit pretty hard. And so this spring, we're going to be spreading topsoil. And I don't, like I said, I don't really prefer topsoil. Uh, when I say topsoil, I'm using it more as a top dressing. Um, I'm using a good compost mix, something with microbial life, something that's really well screened, and that's going to add life to the existing soil. So I hope this helps and you have a great day.